Obviously, we have our resident plastic surgeon, Dr. Orton, but we're also joined by celebrity plastic surgeons, Dr. Jason Diamond and yeah. Dr. Garth Fisher. Gentlemen, Yeah, I wanted to welcome. call in a little extra help for this, so I called on some of my colleagues from the 90210. A couple people that I call heavy hitters. So welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Good to Thank see you again. You. All right. This is from one of our viewers on Facebook, <laughs> and she writes, we all know about laugh lines, crow's feet, and forehead wrinkles, but what is the secret sign of aging that Hollywood stars are treating? Earlobes. People don't think of earlobes aging, whether it be lines, whether it's a change in the size or shape. We address that, right, Jason? Well, one of the... Um common signs of aging is grandma always told me when I was a kid, your earlobes grow and your nose grows, right? And that's really a misnomer. It's not that it's growing, but as we lose elasticity, we lose volume, plus little heavy earrings contribute as well, the earlobes tend to you know, descend with age. And it does give, it is a telltale sign of aging. And so there are some pretty easy treatments to correct that. And a lot of times it's just people don't have a lobe, thin lobes. So we just plump it up a little bit and it looks a lot more youthful. What are your other separate, you said several treatments. Tell us some of your choice treatments for that. For, well, for ear, when earlobes are long, really the only way to fix it is to reduce it. It's a little local anesthesia procedure in the office. Takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes per side. Um, like Dr. Orton said, when the earlobe is, it's when it's not an age-related problem and it's just a little deflated or not quite right, then yeah, then we'll augment it with fat or fillers. Mm -hmm. And I understand you just did Kris Jenner's ears, correct? I, I did, show? I did, yes. The typical age-related, you know, dissension of the earlobes related to, you know, age as well as earring, you know, heavy earrings. And, and in your guys' business, this sounds like a, a, an affordable deal, right? A couple, few thousand dollars typically to do that. But I came up with the thing I call the Ten Commandments of, of facelifting. One of them, thou shalt not distort the earlobe. Sure. And we see that all the time when we're doing revisions. People that lost the earlobe, attached Fix earlobes, the ear. Picks the ears. Fix the so when we're doing a facelift, we take that opportunity to fix that, right? That's correct. I mean, the whole secret is not to have any tension on your incisions or where you're pulling the skin so you can correctly place that uh, that earlobe where it's supposed to be instead of having tension on it. No cutting of the hair, no shaving of the hair, not changing the hairline, hiding the incisions. I always say no straight lines in a facelift. We make gentle curves. I always get paranoid because I'm sitting here thinking about all the features on us that you three are looking at. <laughs> oh man, his right earlobe, that thing is dangling. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, I'll, I'll tell you, it's the one female on this panel, this is high pressure.